Your dog never barks. What's that like? Perhaps horny bad. No, Corbin. Bad. Casey Corbin. only. Casey only barks to get Finnegan to stop barking. Casey's a good dog, but she's an alpha. Don't make. It. That's a bad Corbin. Yeah. Maybe that's I must really suck at upstairs. Yeah, my upstairs last run was really good, dude. And there's something funny about what? Look, it's another huge. Energy. Your upstairs probably just needs a lot of work. Plus, that that one was not a good downstairs. As you can see, I'm comparing against it right now, and I have I'm a one minute ahead. I'm not being. Pretty horny. sure my lobby and basement are just really good for my level. Probably, yeah. You could probably be at the level that I'm currently at. You just don't run the game. I don't think you're you know consistent. what horny means, Corbin, because you're clearly not using it properly. Wow, it's you guys, man. <laughs> because I'm not being horny by Hiya. pointing don't out the fact that, that Sora has not Casey seen Kyrie, Thanks to you clowns, like We're back Kyrie's to older self, for because a living. Of, you know he hasn't seen her in a year. That doesn't Casey, come do you on, want to have sex? I enjoyed that weak dead elephant know. we had yesterday. Do you want hey, to have sex Simba. with me, Jason? <laughs> oh, with you? Yes, of course. Always. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see? No, I wasn't! That That's friendship. <laughs> Ooh, I was not, Corbin. You're again. being stupid. Simba. That's not being horny. That's friendship. <laughs> I was not at all implying that when I was talking about Simba. Sora and Kyrie. <laughs> That's also just the entire <laughs> Kingdom Hearts <laughs> fan base. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. It's funny that like so many people didn't think that Sora and Kyrie were Simba like a yourself. thing at all. Simba into, and then Kingdom Hearts three comes around. And I just like, remember yeah, that stream where I played the beginning of Kingdom Hearts one with you, and I named the the boat the vagina, the SS vagina or whatever it was. Whoa, yes, <laughs> glorious. Well, let's go find Simba and see. I asked my I IRL friend Josh out of nowhere once to have sex, and he didn't even hesitate. To say yes. <laughs> Yo, that's the awkward part, when you play a joke on a friend and ask him to have sex with you and he says yes, and you're like, oh, well now I have to do it. And then you have sex with him, uh, and then you realize that you're definitely not gay, uh, and then you definitely don't hide in the closet, and then... <laughs> I was making that up on the spot. <laughs> Didn't know where I was going with that. Hug me, brother! And then you end up hiding it for 17 years, and then you finally come out to your viewers. <laughs> Hey Dabalicious, thanks for the good luck, man. I actually peed beating 3D All Stars today, so that's cool. But yeah, this uh, this is 15 seconds off my real PB. Check out sub 10, sub 10 today, damn. Yeah, he's been gaming, dude. I mean, Jay's not in this chat, but... <laughs> Rippies. Jay doesn't watch me. <laughs> Imagine watching you. Literally got me. You came back. Dude, one of my friends thought that I was and gay just because I hung out with girls you and it was the dumbest thing so ever. That's, hey Simba, that's why don't the we complete team up and do opposite about that scar ghost. of that. Seems what like the hell? Worried about it. No, because so apparently only gay guys can be friends with girls really and not have of. sex with all of them. <laughs> Gotta imagine that. that. You know, it's like girls are easier to talk to. You know, they don't have a yeah. freaking stick up their ass Sorry. the entire time. It's okay. Maxwell was streaming. Yeah, I know Emrys is streaming. I just wish I knew what my <laughs> Whenever Emrys streams, dude, my chat does not hesitate to tell me. It's all up to you now. What's he streaming? And that now? Means the important thing Did you see my stream where I had a 112 in Disneyland? I saw done. the stream after because I remember so seeing your PB was a 112. Disney. <laughs> see, there you go. He, he's Check running up. this game where it's like a simulator was a great where you just run but around throughout Disney. Turn. Disneyland Parks. You gotta put <laughs> the past behind you. It's, it's weird, it's on Xbox 360, I think. Oh, I remember that. It's called Disneyland yeah, Adventures. It. Yeah, is, isn't it like a Kinect game? For today. Yeah, but That's he's playing the category man. that doesn't use Kinect. Oh. Kano's Ooh, streaming? Kano's today. always streaming. <laughs> and find my own path. I, uh... Not my father's. That's it. Uh, there's a I'm Minecraft that map that, that someone made where, we, where it's like literally Disney World, I think, or Disneyland. Promise me you'll help Simba like any way you can. It comes with like functioning rides and everything. 
It's actually really cool. Wait, Steve, did you get the world record, enough. or did you just get a 112? And so is our baby. Baby. Oh, I'm guessing you said his run is so good, so hey, you didn't. Now we're gonna have to babysit. Now we're gonna have to babysit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see Rafiki dude, I can first. never get I'm sure text skip today, dude. To my God. Something about that ghost. The running tackle ability. Tackle? Tackle shit? Tackle? Yes. Ah. Oh. Get in the door, bro! Alright, where's my ability? Running tackle. All right, nice. Pride Rock. It sucks that I'm. It's it's cool, but also sucks that I'm running the the longest game for the 1545. Rooms. By the way, because I have the most nerve wracking part. My 112 is second place. I'm struggling to get that world record. You'll get it, man. You'll get it. You're doing the grind. Pretty sure right now he's working on Mirror's Edge. I actually met PK, so fuck both of you. Because I've I've gone to PAX and E3. I haven't been to either. I've also met Chugga. And I raced NCS in uh Celeste. Lucky bastard. That was cool. That was awesome. Cause I didn't know he ran Celeste until I went to PAX. I was like, oh, you spear on Celeste. Shit. Wanna race? <laughs> what the fuck? Joey, you are amazing. I don't think I'm amazing for wasting money to go to a convention and meeting people I look up to. <laughs> That's just a normal thing to do, dude. Yeah, it's just a normal thing that gamers do. Except, you know, except for us gamers, dude. Art, cool. Meeting PK, PK is so chill, dude, and you don't expect it because he's so above, like, over the top on his YouTube, but he's really chill in person. Are you talking about, like, PK Spark? Yeah. Okay. He's chill when he's not on camera, <laughs> basically. I would have just. It would have just made my day if, like, I ever yeah. met him. He just, like, went up to everybody. That's just how he starts a conversation. Oh, I did. I, I asked him to do that, though. I did ask him to do his intro on YouTube for me. Yeah. Yo, what's up, guys? PK's back to you. No, no, you gotta put more energy into it. Yo! Yo! Whoa. Bro, Colors is my favorite character in Lion King. It's Ed. Do you three know anything about Scar's ghost? There you go. Oh my God. Huh? Scar's Any person who ghost. doesn't like Ed, I don't know. <laughs> I don't like you. Maybe. <laughs> you do know. Go off the edge, what? Mario. Go over there, Mario. I, just, over I love Mario. That's like the yeah. idiot of the movie. And he, just, he just is so good. Yeah. I, I don't know who Juice World is. Never heard of him. I don't have a pick of proof. I didn't take pictures back then when I went to conventions because I was like, it's a normal thing. I don't need proof that I met these people. I have the memories. Well, yeah, but that's the point of the picture is to get the memory. Not so you have proof. I have a photographic memory. I have proof for Stan Lee. I never met Stan Lee. I did meet Miyamoto. That was cool. Because he, he went to uh, he went to E3. Miyamoto's usually like sometimes. Is he sometimes or is he like most of the time at E3? Mario, do what Joey says, please. I agree with Steve. Please do what I say, Mario. Please bend over and suck my penis. I mean, um. Oh my. Get in the door, bitch hole. 
That was my head impression. Okay. <laughs> but that's a crazy fucking hyena. All he does is laugh and freaking bite his ass. Dude, fucking get back here. I got to meet my mother. Bro, I just talked about how I went to E3. When you go to E3, you meet everyone. <laughs> yeah, when you go to E3, you meet all like, the game. Oh, right. I, I met Bill Trennan, because Bill Trennan was uh, translating for Miyamoto. <laughs> Miyamoto! Because I played Mario Maker before it came out um, at E3, and uh, um, they, uh, they, he, like, Miyamoto was there to talk us through stuff. You know, to like, you know, Ask about yeah, well, how long have you been playing Mario? I wonder if Miyamoto will be in the like in, say something like, in the direction. I doubt it. He never does. Yeah, I don't know. It's just it, he can always. Play. It's usually a freaking what's his face. Like, I went to E3. I went to E3 2015, 2017 for Breath of the Wild. Um, and then I think it was also 2016. Did you mean? How can how could you have gone oh, for Breath no. of the Wild in 2016? Yeah, I was about to say like how could you go in 2017 for Breath of the Wild when the game was already out and you already were the one? About Scar's ghost. You were already doing your blind delve. We don't know nothing. Um, but yeah, I stopped going to E3 in 2019. No, 2018. Only hangs out around Freddy cats. Because that's when I started doing reactions. Enough. And also, I didn't have the money to go each time. My mom paid for me to go each time. There it is. I, I basically told her, like, hey, this is a convention for video games. She's like, okay, cool. Simba, do something. How does it feel? Yeah, I want to go to E3 one day, but I also just want to go to Wax. You want to be a truly inspiring. Oh, damn, Steve, that's awesome. The one that's closest to me is literally Pax Sal. Son of a great Yo, I want to meet most of. Uh, Where are you going? Our online friend group, j Men and IRL. Like, I, plan, I mean, Jason and I uh, have been talking about possibly him coming down here in the future. Yeah. It'd be fantastic. Then I can, you know, we, can have, we can actually have sex. You mean Simba's still unsure? <laughs> we don't even have to joke about that anymore. Hell yeah. I think there's some way we can help? Hey, I'm just saying the couch behind me here. We start by talking it uh, it more. turns into a bed. Let's head back to the oh. Pride Lands. Oh, even better. We're gonna have sex during recording. Oh my God, hell yeah. Even better. Make it a face. Yo, sure. They said make it a face. Butter and some others. Yeah. I mean, Yosher, I feel like I could probably meet pretty soon. Honestly, like I could meet most people if I ever go to GDQ. Because uh, GDQ specifically in Florida, I can meet Tech because Tech lives in Florida. I just doxed him, Kappa. Sora, Donald, Goofy! Where the hell's he going now? What a wonderful parade. Yo, hit that star, bro. Thanks, bro. I think the Pride <laughs> Land is like the most Oh, Platinum Yoshi. I thought you meant Yoshi. I went to travel up to you when our borders open. Oh, hell yeah. I'm down for that, Steve. We can do a co-op speedrun. <laughs> I'm down. Co-op Lego Harry Potter speedruns for world record. Let's go. Stop following me. Father. Yeah, the thing about E3 that a lot of people don't know is just how fucking proud it is. You don't expect it to be either, because you see, like, videos of people at E3, and it's like, oh, wow, there's, like, no people in line, but that's because they waited all day to get online. <laughs> yeah. I spent, like, three hours in line to play Mario Maker, and it was because it was me and Modus time slot. Yeah. The other cool thing was when I got invited, like, personally from Nintendo to do the Switch preview event. That was like an awesome thing to play the Switch before it came out. 
timber. I also got to play Breath of the Wild before it came out. I played 15 minutes of it, and I all I did was like break a tree, and that's it. <laughs> and I was like, dude, this game's awesome. It's no use. I'll never be the king my top father was. Top tier GG the killer. This is not sub two pace at all. Top that's not tier what you're gaming supposed to right be. there. You can't be Mufasa. You Trust can only me, I'm not good at this game. Oh, Everybody believes in you sucks. as a king. They just want to see what you'll do. And if oh, anyone's yeah. saying oh, you're sick, your father, bro. Then, it's because you haven't done much yet. That's all. I know that. Then stop moping and do something. I right. can't. But my actual PD is a 2.12.30 on Fine. Wii U, so what? if we yeah, beat a 2.12.30 yeah. this run, Why it's an actual 1.20 PD. Try. Which, I haven't PB'd in 120 in like a year and a half. Come, Come on, on, Goofy. Goofy. <sighs> the hesitant king will one day lose all his friends. Yo, what's up, Crystal Keyblade? How's it going? Crystal Keyblade? Ooh, Simba, the do nothing king. No! Try and stop me. You got invited from Nintendo. Didn't you make a video on it? Yeah, I made multiple videos on it. I made a vlog. Uh, and you then I made several it. separate the videos when gone. I got, like, from each game that I got to play at the events. I got to play Splatoon 2. Uh, you know, Sonic Mania, I'm really lucky to have uh, Breath of the Wild was the main one, and help me they didn't have Mario Odyssey quickly. at that point. My father uh, what else did I get so to play? Fortunate. There you go again. Bro, I forgot I mean, where the points are. Everyone here and in the Pride Land wants me to succeed. Splatoon 2 is like a big one for me. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Oh yeah, Fast Goomba, RMX. Timon, so wait, Rafiki? did you play that, you played that at E3 2016? You all want what's no, 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 no. I, I, I played Breath of the Wild at E3 2016, yes, but, uh, behind his back, uh, I also played it at the Switch event. Down. Oh. I've got to make the most of my blessings when was and that? rebuild this kingdom. Are you gonna uh, say like, it or do it? Wait January of 2020. Sorry, not <laughs> <laughs> fucking 2017. Uh oh. I got an email from Nintendo. A certain club a Nintendo, or my Nintendo members, lines. got invited. Everybody but Nala um, it out of there. And, uh, and now they said they specifically picked me because I had a YouTube uh, and they wanted press on it. So it's like hell yeah. Simba, all grown up and finding his place yeah. in the world. Nice try. You're coming too. It's cool to know that Nintendo watches my shit. But I mean, I was, I get some games from them sometimes, so it makes sense. Yeah. I I used to before they changed their ruling. What was the ruling change? We're here. You have to have over like you have to be verified on YouTube, so you have to have like hundred thousand subs or something. That's dumb. <sighs> hey, that doesn't stop third-party people though. They still sometimes send me I've games. Come back, <laughs> and indie devs. Indie devs have been sending me a lot of games recently. Yeah. Bro. I got Sunblaze. I got Mail Mole. It's crazy. Get At least, see, I don't really care. Way to like, go, that Simba. Nintendo has changed their their rulings on things, because they also changed, you know, the ability to actually play their games and not get fucking copyrighted for every episode. Yeah. Because that was like the biggest thing back when I first started. I'm actually so surprised Nintendo became very like friendly like that. Yeah. No Are one expected them to be. Now and forever, Your Majesty. By the way, everyone after Summer Games Fest was complaining about how they got DMCA'd on Twitch. And I'm like, bro, I didn't get DMCA'd. I don't know why you guys are complaining. I will pay. Yeah, the copyright was very annoying from Nintendo. Uh, I had a guy at Nintendo, though, because he was the, the guy I made contact with to get copies of games for review. Uh, and he basically was just watching my uploads go through, and he made sure they didn't get copyrighted. Or if they did, they got taken off our website. And at that time, Multi was uh, coming back to YouTube, and he basically asked me to bandwagon on that guy. Um, and have him watch Multi's uploads as well, and I agreed because I was a nice person, and then Multi complained when some of his videos got copyrighted anyway, so I'm like, bro, it, like, he's hired to me, not to you. <laughs> like, yeah. it's not his job to watch yours. I was being nice, but he's not forced to watch yours. 
I, he's kind of like my Nintendo employee. I'm not the best player in Mario 64, Caesar. I am by far not at all even close. I didn't care because at the time I wasn't even like making videos or anything like that. So when you I got a care until you get 1,000 subs, yeah. Yeah, like, it. For one, the worst Nintendo did when they copyrighted was copyright. They didn't block your videos in uh, a different or in, like certain countries. They didn't, uh, you know, give you a copyright strike. They just copyrighted the video. That's all they did. I was completely okay with that, because I was still able to have people watch the content, which is what I wanted. Uh, the Switch event was in US and Canada. It came to multiple different places. My speech at Playful the other day got liked by Dan Hurd. Damn. Time to time to tweet at Lucky's Tail to get a line in uh, in their game. To be fair, if anyone's done more promotion to Lucky's Tale, like, to a, a, a different audience, like, I've introduced so many people to it. There's a reason why they gave me so many codes when they gave us the free codes. Alright, fine, I'm getting the fucking metal cap, screw it. We're gonna lose some time here from that. You know what I found out recently, chat, that I find pretty interesting? Uh, so you guys know that paper airplane game that I played from, uh, Dream Tech? Uh, they recently made a video compiling everybody's reactions to the beta test. Um, and I looked at uh, who, who else they got, because I didn't know there was people other than me and like two other people who raided me that one time. Um, but I found out uh, that I was the biggest winner of the content. The rest of the people had like 100 followers, 200 followers, and were like small streamers. like who got like two viewers yeah. so it was interesting to see that see who else they contacted yeah j man but a little bit more i think they had like 300 some of them did but yeah for average viewers they usually they typically got around like one to two viewers which it's like if you're for me it's like if you're trying to get your game name known about. I'm surprised they didn't contact more bigger streamers. Because at that time I had like 700 followers and everybody else had like 300. Simba seems fine now. Ha! The king has returned. The Pride Lands will not forget King Simba. Yeah, it's different per person. Oh, Just because you have a lot of followers doesn't mean you'll have a lot of viewers. Beside him. Do you think your quest will ever be over? There are some people who have like 4,000 followers but, but barely get like 8 viewers. As long viewers. as the Keyblade stays with me, I'll have to keep fighting. Ah, the struggle never ends. That is the great circle of life. Never ever? The secret to victory. All right, this is like a 121 up. Is a strong. Okay, so it probably asked me what my uptime was, and I lied to him because I thought it was a 126, go, but it's actually go, a 120. Go, go, it was a 123. <laughs> go on, get out! Yes, yes, it is time. Your fight. Yeah, J-Man's a cool continues. streamer. J-Man's like chill, dude. I just think he Do needs to stream again, longer. <laughs> I hope that's if you do soon. longer streams, it then will longer be. than an so hour, long. he'll. You'll gain, like, you'll reach new people for sure. Bro, get up. 